The next time you look at the distinctive skyline of Marina Bay, no, it would not have been possible without the contribution of this woman, Dr. Cheong Kun Hien. From 2004 to 2010, Dr. Cheong was the Chief Executive Officer of the Urban Redevelopment Authority. She worked meticulously with a team to engineer a site worthy of being showcased to the world when an international event like the Formula One Grand Prix comes to town. It's no wonder then that Dr. Cheong has just been named Her World Women of the Year. This is the Her World Women of the Year 2010 award ceremony, an award given out since 1991. It honours women who has made outstanding contribution to society or to their profession, be it the arts, business, politics, community service or the sports. After building Marina Bay, Dr. Cheong is now building homes as the Chief Executive of the Housing Development Board, a post which the mother of two undertook in August 2010. Dr. Chong says that being a woman has never hindered her high-flying career in the public sector. I think in my own experience, uh, the gender issue does not seem to have uh, come into the picture. Uh, in my own experience, I think people get promoted based on merits, on whether they can do the job. So women in Singapore are quite fortunate because I think we have that opportunity, same as the men, to be able to do well. And that I appreciate very much. What are the certain qualities of women uh, that might actually put them ahead in the boardroom or give them an edge? I think men and women have certain differences. Women bring to the table something a little softer and I think they are a little bit probably more in touch with the human emotion. And uh, for Singapore, we have done a lot in terms of heart building and infrastructure. But now's a good time to bring on board some of the software when you talk about vibrancy, you talk about a creative city, I think the slightly softer aspects would be very important. Perhaps women can make a contribution in that area. Well, what advice would you give to women who are now uh, in a management or leadership position, especially if they're in charge of a lot of men? Well, I think, to be honest, I don't think it makes any difference because when we deal with our colleagues, I think we deal with them as human beings and I think you need to deal with them with a lot of respect, man or woman. But we need to understand uh, their strengths, their weaknesses and how to actually support them. A management role is actually bringing the best out in your people and I think that's the same whether they are men or women. With Dr. Cheong flying high in the boardroom and playing mother and wife at home, we asked her how she manages the time between playing CEO wife and mother. Like all women, we all have the same 24 hours, but certainly having a very supportive family has been a very important part in enabling me to pursue a career that has been very fulfilling and meaningful. So that has been uh, important. Uh, I think in my workplace, I try to do my best. At home, I try to do my best as a daughter and a wife and a mother. And uh, this balancing act will always uh, continue and I suppose you just have to be very disciplined with time management. The Her World Awards also include the Young Woman Achiever Award and the Woman of the Year Special Award given respectively to Dr. Marisa Teo for cancer research and Dr. Un Chu Singh, a feisty 94-year-old who runs her own home for elderly patients suffering from dementia. Meet these extraordinary women in the next clip.